Hello and welcome to this edition of the Utah Trail. The Utah Trail, once completed, will span nearly 725 miles, offering a stunning new through-hiking experience in the heart of Utah. This ambitious project, brought to life by three dedicated friends, marks the beginning of a journey to establish another breathtaking trail for the through-hiking community. These initial miles represent the first steps towards adding a remarkable addition to the United States Trail Network in Utah, where life is elevated. Well, hello, everybody. From a random place in the middle of Utah on the Idaho border. As I said last week, I was going to start working on a new project, and that project being the Utah Trail. So today, Luke and I, and Riley, wherever he decided to go, uh, we know that he went home. He had to be there early and everything. Anyways, I digress. <laughs> he, uh, us three decided to start this new venture called the Utah Trail. It's going to start at the Idaho border, go all the way to Kanab, Utah, and link up with the Arizona Trail. So, without further ado, here we go. Life elevated. up there. We took two different routes just to kind of see which one was the best. Uh, so is this more like an expedition? There's a trail that goes up over the top. Oh speaking of it, hey but yeah we uh took two different routes to see which one was the best. I think he chose the right one. So for safety reasons, we haven't really been following the trail per se that I plotted out, which is also this trail that we're following. Because the way the Utah Trail is gonna work is it's gonna be a lot of interconnected trails um, that get like merged together to get to the end. And right now, the trail is in that. So we are traversing rock fields, snow fields, kind of just trying to find the shortest point, point since the trail is covered by snow and it's super post holdable right now, like all the way up to your hips in some, point, in some parts. So we're just trying to stay safe while we do this little expedition and uh, I don't know. Fuck. Status update. <laughs> Obviously don't do what I did. Don't talk while you're on rocks that are icy. <sighs> but in a situation like that, right, I'm good. Uh, I probably have a bruised rib, hip, and I sliced up my hand pretty good. 
but I have a first aid kit. I'm with somebody. And instead of me going down the hill to grab my phone where it slid to, uh, you know, my friend instructed me to come on up to somewhere safe, take a break while he grabbed my stuff and brought it back up to me. And yeah, it's good to hike in pairs, especially in this season. But anyways, back to our regular programming. We have like three hours ish till sun sunset and uh we're we got we got a bit of a ways to go uh having to go through all these uh snow fields just kind of slowed things down and this morning i just wasn't feeling it so slowed us down a bit uh, and so now we're just gonna get going so if there's not a lot from here just understand that we're you know just making it as fast as we can Yep. Well, we didn't make it to where we wanted to. We made it to uh, a, like a detour. We're not gonna go back up and over. We just needed to get down. Just, there's too much snow, not enough daylight. We found this little creek next to a little pond down the ways. We're just gonna call it a night here and get some water and try to have a good time uh, on day one, at least coming to a close. Camp is ready for the night. Well guys, it's been a long day. A successful day, only slightly maimed, but it's been a, it's been a fun time and now we're just gonna enjoy the rest of this fire and then go to sleep. So we'll see you tomorrow and yeah, I'm just, I'm here. Anyways, good night. Bye. See ya.